What's going on gamers? Today we're going to go over how to install Java saves onto our Apex servers. Now, when your server is first created, it starts off with a freshly generated world. However, if you're like most, you'll probably want to use one you've already been working on, or a pre-built one from online. Uploading a custom world to the server can be a bit tricky, however, we are here to guide you through each step so you can build your dream server. The world needs to come from an official site such as Planet Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and hop into Planet Minecraft and then head to Projects. And when we look for a world in Planet Minecraft, we want to make sure that we get one that's compatible with the jar we are using with our server, as if we don't get a compatible world for our jar version on the server, it could cause world corruption. So make sure you get a compatible version to avoid that. And when we scroll down, it's going to give us a bunch of different options and stuff. And to narrow it down, we're going to go ahead and look for some that are downloadable. Now this map is a recreation of the coastline map from Rainbow Six Siege. If we scroll down, we can see it's made by Lycoon and that it's working for 1.12 plus versions. So we're going to go ahead and download that map. It's going to lead us to an external website and we're going to download it onto a downloads file on our computers. On the media fire, just make sure to download it and it will be zipped. We're going to drag it into our downloads folder so that we can unzip it. I recommend a program like 7-Zip or WinRAR, but 7-Zip won't give you the trial notifications, so 7-Zip is definitely a favorite of mine. Extract to Rainbow Six Coastline. It'll make a folder that you can then upload later on. We're going to go ahead and rename it something that we can remember later. Let's name it RSS, just for simplicity's sake. You can also name it like Coastline or Test whatever you need to name it. The names are case sensitive, so whatever you do end up naming it, just make sure that it is either all lowercase or you remember exactly how to spell it out. But maybe you have a save that you've been working on for a long, long time that you just wanna to bring to your Apex server from your computer. What you can do is hit the Windows key, type in percent app data, and then percent again. And if you're using a Mac, you can use the command and space keyboard shortcut, and then you can paste in tilde slash library slash application support slash Minecraft into the search bar. Open the saves folder and drag the world to your desktop in a similar fashion. Rename the world to something that you can remember for later, and then hit enter. Then we're gonna go to the dot Minecraft folder, and you can see the saves folder right here. You're gonna need to go in it. I'm just gonna go ahead and send a copy of it to the same folder that we have the Rainbow Six save on. Go ahead, copy that there. And you can see that we have our two worlds, the one that we got from Planet Minecraft and the one that we got from our PCs. Now for uploading the save to the server itself, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is stop the server itself so that none of the files are goofed up in any way. And then from the same page, you can scroll down a bit to the world name. Now we're gonna go ahead and name it RSS so that it loads up the Rainbow Six world instead of another world. From there, we can scroll down and hit save. Regardless of what world you do, you always need to stop, rename your world, and save so that everything goes through smoothly. And now that you've got that out of the way, you're gonna need to open up an FTP client like FileZilla. Below the video, we've listed our tutorial on how to access your server through FileZilla. Once you've logged in, open up your downloads folder where we've put our saves or doesn't have to be a downloads folder, make sure that it's uncompressed and then click and drag it over into the main directory. If there are any failed transfers, you're gonna need to delete everything that you've uploaded and redo it again, or else your world may not load properly. And as you can see from here, scrolling down, we find that our folder has been successfully uploaded with 33 successful transfers, zero failed transfers, and nothing left in the queue. Once your world is transferred and you have all successful transfers, you can hop back into Multicraft. And after you've made sure that your server has been stopped, that the name is the same as the folder that you've uploaded and that you've saved, you can restart your server. As you can see, the world loaded wonderfully. 
and it is definitely the one that we uploaded. Finally, we're gonna go over what we did in this video. First, we got a save that we wanted onto a folder that we wanted it to be on for uploading for the next step. And then we prepped our servers by sopping the servers and making sure that the name was case sensitive, and then we saved the server. We then connected to our server through FileZilla and uploaded our world to the home directory. Once it was uploaded, we restarted our server and jumped in to see the new world. And as always, we hope you found this video useful. Thank you for using an Apex server, and I hope you have lots of fun.